All right, well, we've got a lot going on. This is not no longer Hurricane Henri. It's Tropical Storm, but really it has made for some big problems along the East Coast and it'll continue to weaken, but lots of rain, power outages, not going to affect us, but this is a big deal. Hadn't happened in about 30 years. Tropical Storm Henri is heading for areas, like I said, haven't had a direct hit in a hurricane 30 years or more. Many people scrambling to prepare the Northeast facing the threat of more flooding as Henri closes in with 55, get this, million people in its path. Multiple states declaring a state of emergency, bracing for winds up to 80. Of course, it's on shore now uh, and storm surge up to five feet. That might not sound significant, but it is. Today, several ferry and train devices now shut down. This was our end of the summer vacation that's ultimately been ruined, so really rough. We're hoping to get back over there. Though. New York National Guard troops now deploying and FEMA crews preparing emergency equipment. In Massachusetts, families boarding up homes, businesses, while Connecticut's governor warning hundreds of thousands could lose power from this event. All right, look at the damage left behind here in Tennessee. Heavy rain, flash flooding, promoted water rescues, road closures, and communication disruptions. At this hour, at least 22 people are confirmed dead. Over 50 people are missing, including a set of seven-month-old twin girls, a little boy and a girl. The catastrophic flash flooding hit Humphreys, Dixon, Houston, Hickman County with 10 inches of rainfall in just six hours. Earlier today, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee surveyed the damage in Humphreys County. Right now, a federal disaster declared, not requested yet, but is expected. Yesterday, Governor Lee asked Tennesseans to please stay cautious of rising floodwaters caused by heavy rainfall in part of the middle Tennessee that his team is actively working with emergency response officials in flooded areas. What a uh, just what an absolute uh, disaster that situation is um, there. You see on Ray's path, but I'm telling you, we had in Tennessee, some of these amounts are more than have fallen in a 24 hour period in all of recorded history in the state of Tennessee. We're still working to confirm that. But look, you can see how much rain. This is just incredible amounts of water up to 17, 18 inches of rain uh, just coming down over the same areas over and over and over like boxcars over a train track for six, seven hours and uh, major problems. And it's still an active search and rescue uh, mission going on for us. Heat advisories tomorrow for Shelby County, excessive heat warnings for uh, several of our southern counties. And uh, Brittany, a major heat wave is now beginning and it's going to stick around for a good bit of the week. I'll talk about uh, what we'll, we'll talk about when relief is coming from this. But you know, the heat's bad enough, but the Northeast dealing with a hurricane, strong tropical storm, and it's just um, generational flooding. West of Nashville, just absolutely incredible. And our heart goes out to those lost and uh, our, our heart uh, hopes for any kind of miracle for those who are missing. Definitely, most definitely. It's just, it's tough to see and looking at those images, it's just like, wow, like what in the world? It's, it, was, it was really, really rough. A lot of people are gonna struggle for a long time, emotionally and physically. Well, President